Welcome back to Crossbeats Production. You're here with Nate 28 and we're here on another beat making tutorial. A little bit early in the morning. Don't uh, normally start too late, but uh, once again, I'm here making beats and uh, that's kind of what I like to do. So I guess I just want to explain how I went about making this beat and uh, just make a quick tutorial on what I kind of did to start it off and the ideas that I did, well, the ideas that I came up with, I guess, and everything that it comes to comes along with it so um to go through this beat i just wanted to first start off with the drums because it's not always the way that you start a beat but it is the way that i started this particular beat uh, and the idea with the uh, piano that i had in there as well so i just wanted to show you what i did how i did it and explain to you a little bit about creating groove in your drums and also just a little bit about creating groove in in your track in general so let me play the drums to you first and i'll just show you what they sound like and then you can judge for yourself about the groove and all that sort of stuff and I'll explain to you how I did it and what I did to create that groove. Okay, so in creating these drums there's a few things that I did to get I guess some realism to it or humanization if you want to call it that or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll just explain to you how I did that. So there's a couple of things that I did to create the human groove to it uh, because you can definitely create drums and they can be on the grid. And when I say on the grid, I mean basically everything is on the one, the two, the three, the four, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, but there's no deviation from that grid. So to create some realism to it, I'll show you exactly what I did. Um, I went down here, there's a little button here, which it basically allows you to quantize onto the grid. Um, I actually deactivate that um, whilst I'm creating it. It doesn't really matter if it's on or it doesn't, or it's not. Um, but you can leave it on if you want to, just to, you know, put in your your, your drum hits or your, your snare or whatever at the start, and then quantize uh, during that. And you can actually play it out on your machine if you want to play it on machine. Whatever way it works for you. Uh, this way works for me very well so basically i'll just show you what i did and i'll explain to you why it's got a bit of a groove to it now if you can see when i zoom right in there that's not actually right on the one it's a bit off and pretty much everything that i've got even this this note, note here that's off as well now if i scroll across you can see this is also off and i just went in there after playing these in and manually adjusted these so they're not actually on the on the actual grid and it gives it that that sort of swing that you you normally would put in with a bit of swing which i've got six percent swing on this anyway uh, you don't have to use swing I, I don't normally use it that frequently either but uh, if, if you want to add a little bit extra humanization to it you can definitely put some swing on there but before i did that i even, i even just adjusted this and actually just sounded fine the way it was i actually just added that six percent swing in there just because i just wanted to felt like you know i gave it a bit more um realisticness to it um, but anyway so i created that as you can see i'll just zoom back into the uh eight bar loop there now there's another thing i want to mention with creating you know your hip-hop style or kind of beat um, I, I would highly suggest starting with either a four or an eight bar loop um, this is really just beginner stuff because i just want to kind of help other people that are starting out as well as you know people that have even been making beats for a while may not have done stuff like this or they may you know get tips out of it so um, i t tend to go with a four or an eight bar loop in doing that then uh, it gives you a bit of variety throughout that that loop now this this drum loop it's not very difficult to recreate if you're going to do it yourself just just watch the midi notes that i've got here um, and you'll be able to do that quite simply uh, but you know i just went in there i'm just going to quickly adjust something it's really bugging me um, the colors are set on auto but for some reason they're not going auto at all there we go now just to go through that I mean basically the drums as you can hear that's it now to add into that I got a piano I did similar kind of thing where I adjusted the MIDI as you can see it's not on the grid I played this in with the chord suggester within machine um, it actually gave me chords and there the chords are but this is how it's played Okay, 
So as you can hear, that kind of goes well with that groove and it, it sits nicely. It's kind of a slow R&B jazzy kind of thing, I guess, if you want to call it that. Look, I just create beats just to, in the, in the idea of having somebody actually rap on it, I may even rap on it myself. I don't know. It just depends on what I feel about the beat when I make it and how I feel at the time. So uh, this, this is just kind of the way I do it. So, you know, like I showed you here, create a bit of a groove there. Once again, it's an eight bar. 8 bar pattern loop and you just can create whatever you want you can do 16 bars if you want there's no absolute no set rule on doing this beat making producing anything because this is your art i mean you're creating something that's your own distinctive style and that's what it should be you don't want it to be something that somebody else made um definitely not so anyway so that's that with the piano um, these chords like i said played them out using the chord idea suggester within machine and then I found out what the actual notes were and then I was able to replay them myself and you know mess around with it a bit uh, so once I figured out the chord structure then I went into bass and I created this as a bass rhythm So basically to get that bass going, you know, like I said, I found out the, the scale that I need to use. So when I, when I work on beats, I really try and find out what key the song is in first. And, you know, because I played it, I know what key it's in. Uh, so then I try to find out the scale on that key. And then I use the notes within that scale. Um, it's, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, I'm basically just talking about the, the music theory behind this this creativity process so the scales that you use scales are basically a set of keys within uh, an octave or several octaves within a note uh, or or a key should, should it be c or a or whatever it might be there's several keys that fit into that uh, key of c or key of a or key of g whatever whatever key your song is in um, so i found out that i played the bass by, by hand and then i just manually adjusted it to really fit and then I used my um, mod wheels, so I created sort of some movement in several notes here. So you hear it. So it's... And that's kind of just to create that realism, I guess, and kind of movement within the bass as well. So if I play it together... So that's the bass and then what I did here with the Vox well, I was just trying to change the name of All I Had The Chance, I just want to see why it's so quiet. Okay so just to show you this quickly, I found a little it's called what is it called distance smash smash vox um all it is is that sound there so it's actually really quiet i might just it's like a dog barking <laughs> it's not actually a dog barking i hope but anyway Whatever it is, um, it's actually that chant, I think. Yeah. So pretty much I just found that and added that in and all together kind of gives it that groove. Okay, so if I was going to do something next, I'd try and find like one of those, uh, you know, the worm kind of instruments where it's just trying to, you know, come up with ideas in my head of, of the rhythm or the, I guess, uh, more of a, more of a ideas of how I would create melody to the song. That's, that's the next step that I would take in making this beat. Um, but basically, you know, 
that's that's the basics of how I start a beat and it's just ideas maybe you can come up with ideas that might you might get from this video I hope it really helps you and if it did just remember to always give that like button hit the like button actually and um, remember to subscribe to the channel because it helps me and it helps helps you get more content as well um, and I just really want to say thanks for tuning in and peace